Hello Stoke community, welcome to another Starbase UGC video tutorial. Tonight I'm going to show you how to make multiple and overlapping objectives. Uh, we know that according to the story tab one objective follows another objective follows another objective. So that means say if your mission involves scanning four satellites and also killing four groups of enemies you have to set it up in a particular way. One very laborious way of doing that would be to say, okay, kill this specific enemy, then scan this specific object. Kill this specific enemy, then scan this specific object. And if you have, say, four different objects to do that, it can be time consuming. It, it can also fill up your storyboard really quickly. So I'm going to show you a shortcut. Um, it's a time-saving trick, but it's also a way to add um, a, a type of non-linear play mode to your map, where the player doesn't necessarily have to go in a specific order or do things um, in a specific way. So here is a space map. I've set up four satellites and four Orion squadrons, each one guarding one of those satellites. So the mission is to kill the Orions and scan the satellite, then kill the next group of Orions and then scan the satellite. And do that four times in order to advance your mission. Now, as I said before, you could set this up where it's kill this specific enemy followed by this specific satellite, or you could set it up really the easiest way which is just to interact with the satellites. So scan the satellites. That's my mission. I'm going to set automatic waypoints and then I'm going to add all four satellites. So there's satellite one. Ignore that for now. Two three, and four. Now, if this is my mission, if my mission is just to scan the satellites, but on the map I've put in enemy squads, then it means that every time a player goes close to the satellite, they have to kill the enemy squads, or at least draw the enemy squads away from the satellite in order to scan it. Um, now, that's one way of going about it. Another way is if I actually want to include killing the enemies as part of my mission objective. And if I want to do that, that's where it gets tricky. But I'll show you a quick workaround. So here is the scan the satellites. Then I'll put in kill the enemies. And the mission te text is kill Orions put in automatic waypoints, and then I'll add all four groups of Orions. So there's one, two, three, and four. Now if I were to play this mission as it is, it would mean that I'd have to scan all four satellites before the enemies appeared, and then I'd have to kill all four enemies, which would be really annoying, because I'd have to scan, 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 then kill, 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 kill. But there's a really easy trick, and let me expand this so you can see it. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take my kill enemies tab, and I'm going to put it right over my scan the satellites tab and boom that puts them right side by side and that means that in the mission you have multiple objectives your objectives are both to scan the satellites and to kill the Orions and whatever order the player does that in is up to the player so the player could go this way around or he could go that way around he could kill the enemies and then come back and scan the satellites or you could go one by one. 
Um, and so it creates a, at least what comes close to a non-linear feel to your maps and your stories when you can have multiple mission objectives side by side. Okay, I think that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Uh, please leave comments on the blog or in the forums, and please leave future requests for tutorials. Thank you.